hey guys welcome back to my channel today I did this look right here it is a gorgeous coppery um, sort of look very warm I didn't mean to go very warm but I did I couldn't help myself I feel like this look is very um, monochromatic so the cheeks the eyes and the lips are all tied in with the same color sort of like a coppery sort of shade I think this look is perfect for the springtime um, springtime in Australia that is I know um, the US and other parts of the world are going into autumn but we are going into spring so this look is perfect and fresh um, for spring I show you how to go from start to finish so I do my skin my eyes and everything in this look not just my eyes so uh, if you want to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching so I'm just going to moisturize my lips with the Paula's Choice um, Anti-Aging Lip Gloss. Hugo, stop it. Hugo, stop it! I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, just to prime the eyelids and to make the eyeshadows last much more longer. I'm using a um, angled RC Cosmetics brush and you can use any synthetic brush um, just as long as it um, picks up the product especially a cream product like this to start the blending process off with the eyes I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Melt Cosmetics it's called Blur and I'm just going to use it on a tapered blending E35 brush You can hear something in the background, it's my dog. Hugo. Stop it! Now for the next colour, I'm going to use Unseen, and this is from the same Dark Matter stack from Melt Cosmetics. Um, it's quite similar to Blur, the previous eyeshadow that I used, but it's just a little bit deeper. So this is going to go right in the crease, not in the upper crease. And to apply it, I'm using a E25 from Sigma. So I'm just really concentrating the color right in the crease there. And I'm just really using a light hand. So I'm not pressing too hard, I'm just going super soft. For the lid, I'm gonna use Modus Cosmetics Rapture. And this is just like a bronzy, sort of sparkly eyeshadow. To apply this eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Large Shader E60 brush from Sigma. I'm going to go in with Enigma from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm just going to create a little bit more de definition in the eye. So I'm going to go in with the E25 that I used for one of the other colors. So I'm just going to move on to the face and I'm going to prime my face with the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. I'm just using a Morphe M36 to apply this to my face. And you just want to go in downward strokes. Just because when you push the skin up, you're pushing the product into the pore and it will it won't be as smooth as when you're pushing down so for foundation i'm trying the new um ultra hd makeup forever foundation and this color is um the same as my old color 140 but it's actually called y305 i'm just going to apply it with that same brush that i used the Morphe brush, um, the stippling brush, and I'm just going to do it in downward strokes as well. I have to say, this foundation is beautiful. It's super light, um, however, it is covering up um, a lot of the redness I had around my nose and under my chin. So I'm really impressed. I like it doesn't look um, too heavy as well. 
as usual I always blend it out with a sponge and I'm using a damp beauty blender To contour my nose, I'm using a Morphe M441 brush and the same Kevin Aucoin powder. Sculpting powder. Look at the difference. This side looks so much more um, defined than the other side. As usual, just going quickly through the brows, I'm using the dip brow in medium brown and um, just brushing the hairs upwards um, with the brow and lash E00 brush. Um, this one's from Sigma. And it's obviously just a spooling as well. And then I use my favorite brow line brush, the 322 from Zoeva. So I'm going to use Kevin Aquan's um, Sensual Skin Enhancer to um, conceal under the eyes and this is in the colour 07. To apply this I'm going to use the Concealer F70 brush from Sigma and then as usual just blending out with a beauty blender. Trying to keep it as contained as possible. To set all of that into place, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and a 114 Zoeva brush. It's called the Lux Face Focus Brush. To finish off the eyes, I'm using the colour from Melt Cosmetics Unseen and I'm just going to blend that on the lower lash line with the Morphe M441 brush. To line the waterline, I'm going to use Teddy from MAC. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm using Shu Umura's um, eyelash curler. And I'm also just going to give them a quick coat of the Volume Million Lashes from L'Oreal. Then I'm just going to apply some velour lashes. These are Wing Woman. And then just to coat the bottom lashes, I'm using 
Max Extended Play Lash. I'm then just going back into the highlighter, the Laura Mercier um, Indiscretion highlighter, and I'm just going to highlight the whole face. I'm also using the same brush for this, the um, Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I didn't really like the um, Gold Indiscretion Laura Mercier color for my nose, so I'm gonna use the Pro Sculpting Duo from Makeup Forever. And I'm just applying it with a small tapered blending brush, an E45 from Sigma. So I'm going to take um, Makeup Forever's um, Pro Bronze Fusion. This is in 30M and I'm just going to bronze up the face and um, I'm going to use the MAC Angled Contour Brush. So for the lips I'm going to use um, Aphrodite, the Hydra Matte um, Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. 